If only part of a river is navigable, can the entire river be deemed a navigable water? The Supreme Court answered this question in PPL Montana v. Montana. The Missouri, Madison, and Clark Fork rivers run through Montana. The Missouri River was explored during the Lewis and Clark expedition in the 1800s. Travel logs from the expedition noted that the river had waterfalls and other non-navigable sections that could only be passed by overland portage. Portage means a person must move a boat over land until the boat can be returned to a navigable section of the river. PPL Montana owned and operated hydroelectric dams that were installed on riverbeds under the Missouri, Madison, and Clark Fork rivers. PPL paid rent to the United States government to use the riverbeds. The longest-running dam had been in use for centuries, and the other dams had been operational for decades. In 2003, the state of Montana joined another lawsuit and attempted to recover rent from PPL. However, the case was dismissed. PPL then sued the state, claiming that Montana was barred from seeking rent. Montana counterclaimed and argued that, under the Equal Footing Doctrine, Montana owned the riverbeds and could charge PPL rent. Montana claimed that the rivers were navigable when Montana became a state and that the rivers are still used recreationally today. The state argued that short interruptions in navigability don't support a finding of non-navigability. Montana also argued that the public trust doctrine gives the state title to the submerged lands. The trial court granted summary judgment in favor of Montana and ordered that PPL pay over $40 million of rent to the state. PPL appealed. The Montana Supreme Court affirmed. PPL appealed again, and the United States Supreme Court granted cert.